Hi guys, welcome to Palm Closet. Today I'm going to show you how I crochet the bikini bottom in Brazilian style. And these are what we need. I always use cotton yarn 100%. And these, I bought them from the Hobby website. It's four ply cotton, suitable for the knitting and crochet. And the hook you will need it's two and a half, three, and sometimes I use four. It's very thin and it's quite soft. You can wash by hand or the machine wash. We also need the crochet hook. This is my favorite hook. It's number four. It's suitable for this kind of yarn, it's very thin yarn. Actually, this crochet hook, they have two ends. It's number three and number four. I always use number four because I feel comfortable with, with this hook more. You will also need a pair of cutter or a pair of scissors, the yarn needle, some stitch markers, also the tape measure. And before we starting the project, I need to explain something about the sizes. Here is the design that we need to achieve. It's Brazilian bottom. We will need to use the pattern of this shape here for the front, also for the back. And to start with, we will work from the bottom up and then we will do this part here. And after that, we need to do the strap for the bottom, both left and right. So to begin with, as I'm making size M, I will do the slip knot. For all sizes, you need to do the slip knot. And for size M, I'm gonna change up to 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 chains. For size S, you need to do nine chains. Size M do 10, size L do 11, size XL do 12. After that, change two for all sizes. Then do single crochet on the third chain from the hook. The rest of the stitches also do the single crochets until the last stitch. So you do this for all sizes as well. The difference is, is only where you um, started. You just need to change as I have mentioned. So for size M, I have done 10 chains. And the last stitch, also single crochets. This is the first row. The second row you need to chain one, turn the work and then single crochet on this first stitch here, single crochet on this one and the rest of the stitches you need to do single crochet. The remaining of the stitches are 10, so exactly the same as row one. For size S, you will have 9, size L, you will have 11, size XL, you will have 12. So row 2, and the last stitch is here. So you have also 10, 10 stitches. I will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 stitches on row 2 and row 3 you need to repeat row 2 by chain 1, turn the work and always do on this stitch as the first one, as the first stitch and the rest just do exactly the same as row 2 until you reach the last stitch the remaining stitches will be also 10 for size M, 9 for size S uh, 11 for size L and 12 for size XL. I will meet you at the end of row 3. 
And here is the end of row three. For row four, now we need to add the stitches to make the bottoms get bigger, go wider by chain one, turn the work. And the first stitch you do single crochet always. The second one here you do two single crochet in the same stitch. So we are increasing the size. And the rest you do single crochet until you reach the last two stitches left. And you will have to repeat exactly the same as on the, the other side. So here you have this stitch and this stitch left. On this stitch you will do two single crochet in the same stitch and on the last stitch one single crochet. So row 4 is completed and the other sizes like S, L, XL you will have to repeat exactly the same. And for row 5, 6, 7 you need to repeat row 2 and 3. That means you don't have to add any stitches for three rows. For row five, chain one, turn the work. First stitch, always single crochet. Also the rest of the stitches. No need to add any more of the uh, single crochets. Because row five, six, seven, we don't need to add any extra uh, extra stitch extra stitches we will do so I will do single crochet until I reach the last stitch of row 5 I recommend it to put the stitch markers on so you won't get lost I will put the stitch markers on where we add this uh, the stitch the stitches which is row 4 so row 4 is on it's white color it's quite difficult to to focus so 1 2 3 4 row 4 is on this one because I add two single crochet in the same stitch both left and right so row 5 is completed Row 5, now I do row 6 and row 7 by repeating row 5. The other sizes also do exactly the same. So I will meet you after you've done row uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. After you've done row 7, we will do row 8. At the end of row 7, now we need to start row 8. By chain one turn the work and repeat row four. So we adding the stitches on the second chain here on the second stitch by doing two single crochet in the same stitch and the rest of the stitches you do single crochet until you reach the last two stitches and repeat the other side. So basically you need to add stitches on every four rows. Like this one, row eight, and the last two stitches. On this one, I will do two single crochet in the same stitch. The last stitch, single crochets to complete row eight. And then move the stitch markers to this row so you know you have added the stitches twice now row row 9 I will just show you this we have done row 8 so just repeat row 4 by single crochet on the first change and then one next to is two single crochet in the same stitch and the rest just single crochet until you have the last two stitches left and then just repeat on this side as I have mentioned as I have shown you 
and for row 9, 10, 11, you just repeat basically row 5, 6, 7. That means no adding stitches. You will add the stitches only on, on the fourth row, which is row 12. So add exactly the same as row 4 or row 8. And then row 13, 14, 15, no need to add stitches. Row 16, add. 17, 18, 19, no need to add. Row 20, you need to add the stitches. So as here, until you get to row, I will keep uh, crocheting by following this um, pattern until I get the length which is this part here so this this is size M the length of uh, the bottom part where we started until here also including this this part the M size M you will need 9 inches in total and this part here it's around two inches so basically we will need around seven inches on on this part for size m for size s on this part you will need six on m you need seven l you need eight inches on the xl you will need nine inches only on this part so after i get seven inches from this bottom part up to here by following this this pattern I have written and I will get back to you and show you how to do this part to get two inches extra to make this bottom the length of this bottom nine inches and the other sizes you will have size S you will have eight inches for the hold hold um, bottom this is the length and for M 9 inches, for L 10 inches, for XL is 11, so 8, 9, 10, 11 inches. But first of all we need to get this part done. So I will meet you after I've got the length of 7 inches. Now I have done 37 rows. 37 rows and it works out uh, for the length of 7 inches and the bottom part here I forgot to mention is around when the stretch is around 2 inches the length for 37 rows is 7 inches for size M and for size S you might just go for um, 31 30, 31 rows for size S and for size L you will need to add around 4 to 5 rows size XL you will need to add like 4 to 5 rows to make 1 inch so for me this is this is size M as this is a customized piece and the width of this part here it's around 6.5 inches now you need to uh, do the this part here on the design so on the top part this is size M and I have been through this we need to continue from our from where the yarn is so by changing three I have changed one already so one, two, three, and then you turn the work. Now we need to skip one, two, skip two stitches, go to the third one, and do double crochets three times. Two, three. After that, change two. And do three double crochets in the same stitch. Like this. So three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Now you need to skip two, go to the third one with double crochets. And then 
skip two, go to the third one with three double crochets, change two, three double crochet, just like this one. Change two, three double crochets. And the next one is skip two stitches, go to the third one and do double crochets. Skip two, go to the third one, three double crochets. Basically just repeat these two. So for size S and M, you will end up having four of these. It looks like a shell or a fan. So I will show you until the end of the row. So now we have three and then skip two and then it doesn't work out like you know if you skip two go to the third one and then you will have too many stitches left you will have to work out on the last last part here we skip two chains for this part here because I only need to have one two three four Four of these I need to work out like skip three, go to the fourth one, double crochets. And then I will skip three, go to the fourth one, and then do the last fan, the last shell. For size S, you do exactly the same, but for size M, uh, for size L and XL, you will need to do five, five of these. By working out on the stitches, there is no specific stitches because different sizes you will have uh, the stitches at the end uh, of this part here left so we, you will need to work work out on this part and then I skip three go to the fourth one so like this and then you will end up having four of this shell and then you need to chain five one two three four five turn the work and slip stitch on this middle part where you did change two now change three and then slip stitch change two and do the double crochets on on this part where you did also double crochets like this by chain five slip stitch change three slip stitch in this middle part and then change two double crochets on this part where you also did double crochets and then repeat by change two and do the slip stitch on this middle part here three change slip stitch Change two double crochets. Change two slip stitch. Change three slip stitch. Change two double crochet. Change two slip stitch on this middle part. Change three slip stitch. Change two. And on the last last stitch where we did change three, just go for double crochet. So you will have the pattern on top of of the first uh, first pattern here. So basically, you just chain five, slip stitch, change three, change two, double crochet on this part here. So you can see they are on the same same stitch and then change two slip stitch change three slip stitch change two double crochet change two slip stitch change three slip stitch and so on and now we need to repeat the whole pattern of these two rows one more time by change three and do exactly the same as on this row on this little uh, part here 
by do the three double crochets change two three double crochets exactly the same pattern and now do the double crochets on top of the double crochet stitch on, uh, from the previous row so you will have exactly the same pattern and the rest you just repeat by chain three uh, double crochets three of them chain two and then three double crochet in the same this little mesh stitch here from the previous row and just repeat the whole the whole row and end of the row you need to chain five and repeat the second row of this pattern chain five at the beginning of the row slip stitch chain three slip stitch chain two and do double crochet where the double crochet stitch from the previous row chain two slip stitch chain three slip stitch and so on until you reach the last stitch and then just leave the yarn uh, on this piece no need to cut it because we need to do the um, the side um, I would say this is the the waistband the waistband uh, after you've done this piece you need to repeat exactly the same as on this one uh, for another piece because we are using both front and back uh, um, using the same pattern so now at the end of the at the end of the row you will end up having something like this now we leave we leave the yarn I will chain one first and then we leave the yarn on on this piece for now and do another piece of this do exactly the same if you do other sizes make sure you repeat the same pattern as on the front piece this you can wear both front and back it's Brazilian bottom and I chose white because this is a customized piece you can choose any color of your choice you can mix any any colors uh, for the summer white I think this is quite a lovely color so I will meet you after you done another piece now I have done the front and the back piece, so they are exactly the same for size M. Uh, now we need to do the waistband, and by doing the waistband for different sizes, I have figured this out for you. For example, size M. So this is size M. I have mentioned about this part is 6.5. This is the width of um, the top of the bikini on this part here 6.5 for size M for size S that would be 6 inches M 6.5 L 7 XL 7.5 for this part only this is the top part now for the strap or the waistband you will need to figure this out for different sizes I have my size chart, here's my size chart for pump closet. We will need the hipped part. So for example, S 36 inches, M 38 inches, L 40, XL 42. Now I'm making size M as I have mentioned. So we work on the hip size 38 inches we need to divide it by two because 38 inches is around your hip when you measure from front and back this is around the hip and divide it by two to get only the front piece from the from this part to this part this is only the the front piece when you divide it by two you get 19 inches for this size and you need to um, deduct it four inches by for every sizes. So 
is four inches. So I have 15 inches left. Um, now 14 inches left, we need to divide it 15 inches again, divided by two, because we need to to do the these straps for the left side and this strap for the right side. So you can see, after you divide it, uh, the hips into front and back piece, you have 19 inches left, and then divide it by four inches for all sizes. So 15 inches left, you need to divide it by two to make these two part. So once you, um, you calculate all these three measurements, from the left, left uh, waistband, including the middle part of the bikini, also on the right waistband. So the total would be 15 inches. This is what we need. And this is for size M. For other sizes, for example, S. So we will work from the hips part the hip of the size small is 36 inches. You divide it by two, you get 18 inches left. And you deduct it four, you have 14 inches left. This is 14 inches we will need from the left waistband to the right waistband, including this middle part. So this middle part, as I have mentioned, you have six inches and you need to um, to divide it 14 inches deducted by uh, 6 so whichever you have left you need to divide it these two parts so when you um, do this 4 plus 6 plus 4 you will still have 14 inches left this is for size S size M I have mentioned for size L, the hips 40 inches divided by 2, you have 20 inches left and then deducted 4, you have 16 inches left and divided also by 2 because you need what, whichever left for this waistband. So when you uh, do 4.5 inches plus 7 plus 4.5, you will have 16 inches waistband for both front piece and the back piece and also XL hips 42 inches divided by 2 you have 21 inches left and deducted 4 17 inches left and divided by 2 also you will get 4.75 inches and when you plus 3 numbers you will have 17 inches for the front piece and the back piece so I will continue doing my size M. Uh, for the waistband, we need to continue from where we still have the yarn left. So I will chain one and then I will turn. So we work on upwards on this side because this is the waistband. And um, on the first double crochet rows here, we need to do sing two, sing two single crochets in, in this part here. And the next double crochets here, you need to do two, sing two single crochets. And the next one also two single crochets. So the total of these three rows, you will have six single crochets. This is row one. For row two, you need to chain one, turn the work, and starting from the first stitch here, always not on this one, on this one, and do single crochets until you have, till you reach the last stitch. So the total would still be six single crochets, six stitches. And for the next rows, you need to just repeat row two. Chain one, turn the work, and starting from this first stitch, and just continue doing the single crochets. Just keep turning the work. 
make sure you still have six six stitches this one works for all sizes for s m l x l so we only need six single crochets for the strap or for the waistband and i will continue doing this until i get the length of for size m so i have divided um, this part here you will need to continue let me get four plus as I don't want to um, do 4.5 inches and then cut off the yarn and then do the other side so I will do the other trick which is you need to uh, do this part and continue doing this part to make it one long straps for one side for front and back if you understand what I mean um, I will firstly continue doing the this this Westband here for the length of 4.25 for the length of 8 8.5 inches and then I will get back to you and I have done the strap of 34 rows because I have cut four four rows is one inch and I need eight point um, eight point five inches. So when you 8.5 inches uh, multiply by 4, I have ended up with 34 rows. So when you do four, um, 1 inch count as 4 rows. So you need to work it out which size you're making and then you multiply by 4 to get number of rows. And I have measured from this part here, this is the top of the bottom, bikini bottom. Up to where my needles my hook crochet hook is a stretch up to 15 inches this is what I need for my size M this is only one side the straps here as I have mentioned so this is what I meant when you do the straps 4.5 inches up to here I will only have half of these and then I crochet another half which is 4.25 inches so I will get the other half because when you fold it you will have the other half of the back piece so this is what I meant now we need to connect to this part and then I can show you what what it looks like so to just um, to to be able to understand better so I have now, this is, I would say this is the wrong side and here it looks nicer, that would be the right side and when you connect the front and the back part you need to find the right side this is my both the right side on this part and I need to put the right side to the right side like this and I will connect the strap on the other side like this by working from the first row like this and then you need to pull the yarn through chain one and then I'll turn back so I work now on the, the first first stitch so I work on the second Basically, you need two single crochet on each of these double crochet rows. And the next stitch on this one and the next one, because there are only six single crochets, you need to divide it two for each of the crochet rows on the other piece as well. Here's the last stitch. And then I will I would leave the yarn like this first to show you what I mean by the front piece and the back piece. So by doing this, you don't have to um, you don't have to do the half half of the straps and then cut off the yarn and do the half of the straps and then reconnecting the two pieces. So by doing this, there is no seams. 
and then um, it will become like one piece long strap like this and repeat the other side the other side I still have my yarn left from the top part here so I will this is number three number four I will chain one and then do two single crochets on on these double crochet rows and two single crochet on the next two single crochet on the next so exactly the same as on the other side and I will continue doing the straps or the waistband here for 34 rows and then I will reconnecting it onto the front part so make sure you connecting on the right side to the right side together like on this part and then we will so leave the you leave the yarn for now because we need to do the edging so by doing the edging before doing the edging we need to um, I can show you first the bottom part here so make sure which one is on the right side so here is on the the right side or the wrong side here's the wrong side because here is the seams I will work from the wrong side by grabbing the piece of yarn and use the uh, needle so here is the yarn needle and insert get the end I'm not gonna get it for too long so probably around, around 15 inches and I will connect the yarn by uh, inserting the crochet the yarn needles through the first stitch of front and back this is the wrong side because I need to to have the seam allowance inside and leave it for six centimeters to weave in later and do it once so insert I will keep doing the this insert the needle through the uh, second stitch front and back also on the the next stitches like this front back piece only on the really um, edging very end uh, what do you call this it's just make it very thin you don't need the the big big seams on this part here so front piece front piece back piece front piece back piece like this so you need to balance the side at the size the front and the back so now I have done the I've connected the front and the back piece like this and I will leave the yarn leave the yarn like this so I can weave in later and now I need to continue doing the waistband and reconnecting with the other piece exactly the same as what I have shown you and make sure the right side to the right side and then do exactly the same technique by doing two single crochet on each of these uh, double crochet rows and don't need to cut the yarn off just yet so maybe I can show you now we will need to work from the right side by turning the work to the right side this is the right side because here is where the seam is and um, basically the edging here we will need to do only single crochet all the way around I will use the yarn that we have left I haven't cut it yet and 
this row we have done the two double crochets and the next row here we still have the one double crochet rows left I will go also for two single crochet on this one and the rest just do single crochet on each of these rows just to make the edging looks a lot uh, nicer for example next row here single crochet next stitch single crochet all the way around now I get to the part where we started the front and the back and the ends here I want to hide them so you can just um, do the single crochet on top of these uh, strands because it's too short to sew them in so this is another technique to just hide the ends if you have the strong um, the long long string long edge the long ends left you can just sew them in like this just go on top of them So continue doing the single crochet all the way around and this part here you can just cut and just cut it off. I'm here on the other side of the bottom and the double crochet rows, this is the first double crochet row, so you just need to go for two single crochets and on this row you already have two single crochets, you can just go to the Waistband and do the single crochet on each of these stitches. So continue doing this all the way around until you reach the stitch, the first stitch where you started, slip stitch, cut off the yarn and weave all the ends in. And then repeat the other side as well. All right guys, the bikini bottom in Brazilian size is finished. This is size M as I have mentioned. For other sizes, I also have uh, explained how you adding the rows or the stitches from the beginning and uh, how many rows you have to uh, make it up here and also on the side. So hopefully it doesn't get too uh, confused. And this bikini bottom it's kind of stretch with the um, cotton yarn. It's 100% cotton yarn, so it can be stretch when it's wet, but it will shrink back to the previous size once it's dry. So how to wash it, you can wash by hand or the machine, this is no problem, unless you use other type of yarn. So you can check how the yarn react to water by making maybe a small small samples of the yarn for example like 20 stitches by 10 row or 20 row and to see how many how many chain how many stitches you will need for for this and what to wear with this bikini bottom there are many tops that i have uh, created on the channel so please feel free to check them out you can mix and match any items of your favorite in any colors of your choice so don't forget to share the pictures of what you have done by following my tutorials on my Instagram account and I would love to see your works I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys if you get um, confused or don't understand any part of the video please feel free to uh, leave a comment on the comment section and I will try to get back to you with the answer and um, Please feel free to check out the other video on my channel There are many designs I have done also there are many more to come and um, Hopefully you get to share the works after you've done the bikinis by following my tutorials on my Instagram account if you need to purchase the finished product or some patterns, feel free to check out my website also. And I will see you in the next video.